Good morning, everyone, and thank you for stopping by my channel. I, um, why is it I always have to pick up things when I talk in the beginning? Um, I'm going to work on the autumn, uh, Ode to Autumn. Um, I glued on this part as the, um, front cover, and I'll be putting a tie on here, and the color, I don't really have it handy now, but it's like a rusty color. It's real pretty. And then uh, I sewed in the signatures, a signature, one signature. So um, I was going to make another piece of ephemera today, and we'll see where we get from there. Um, I did sew in, or actually I glued in this pocket that I made. This was from a, a um, let me see if I got something to like stick in there. This was... Um, a piece that my mom had um, stitched quite a few years ago. Actually, maybe five years ago. She she was very, she is, I shouldn't say was, she is very good at this, but she won't do it anymore. I don't know. She just doesn't have any, you know, enthusiasm. So that's the other side. Okay, and then uh, let me see if I did. Okay, so one thing I want to do, I made this... Um, double uh, folded pocket. This is very heavy um, scrapbook paper. And um, next time I think I'll, I might do it with a lighter paper. But anyway, this is um, just something, um, let me, I don't know if this will fit or not. Um, it has a pocket here. Yeah, see it's like in the bend. It's not very um, flexible. But it's a pocket there, and you can put a journal card in that part. Um, I think I might put something here for writing. I'm not sure. And then the same thing is on this side. So you can put a journal card in there. Okay, so let me just quickly tell you how to do this. It's very, very simple. Um, all it is is a envelope and I made it, well, the smallest they have on the envelope maker, or I should say the largest they have is, um, eight, 11 and a half by 11 and a half. So, um, that's what I used and it said to measure it at, um, four and seven eighths, and then, you know, you punch, if, if you've used those. If you don't want to use a punch board, then you can pretty much just fold like this. Um, Corey uh, Dahman has a, um, a video on how to, how to make your own envelopes. I know how to do it, I just can't, I cannot remember exactly. I'd have to find the envelope and get my measurements, but, um, the only thing when you're using this is there's not enough room to score all the way down. So what I did was um, wherever I needed to score, I guess, here. Um, let me show you here. So it was, it's in here, but see, you ran out of room. So what I did is I started it and then I took my um, ruler and made a straight line and then I scored it on a score uh, scoreboard. So that's all you have to do. I glued down, let's see, I think I glued down these flaps here to make it inside. And then you just fold it in half this way. And that makes your pocket. And I thought maybe I could cut this and make another pocket, but I'm not, I think this part would fall out. So, you know, I guess if you wanted two tone, that would be okay. Or if you wanted to cut it, if it was reversible paper, and then turn it the other way. But I like it that it has the edge on there. So that's the way I would do that. So that's one little project. Um, let me see here. This one here was the envelope that I made with scrap paper, which I think was also a Cory Dahlman Oh, that might have been the same envelope. Duh. Yes, I think it was. A um, little different type of an envelope, though. It's not, 
you know, the four points that go in, I don't think. But anyway, um, so I thought to myself, I can't, you can't really put anything in going this direction. So I think I'm going to cut this off, sliver it, and then I'm going to put a piece of um, collage paper there. All I have to do now is find a piece that... That one would fit. Oh, There's something about that color. I just, I, I hate to just rip off a piece that, I don't have any scraps of this yet. Hmm. Maybe I'm gonna have to start making some scraps. That looks kind of nice with these. See, these, none of these are from the kid, and they were just uh, scrap paper. All right, so let me um, find a ruler. So I hope everybody is um, out having a good time today. I uh, My friend came yesterday, so we did some... I did some work on this, sewing the signatures. She's working on a quilt. And, and the day before that, I went to Sam's Club and lunch. So, um, I don't want this to be perfect, but that doesn't really work. Okay, that's fine that way. And I uh, got a good deal on um, roasted, not roasted, what do you call that? Roasted chicken? No. What do you, rotisserie. I don't know where you get roasted chicken anymore. We used to get it when I was a kid at a little place that we had in town. And they had roasted potatoes with it. Oh my gosh, they were to die for. But um, I don't know where, I don't know anybody that does it. Okay, so I'm going just, let me put glue stick, I'm just going to glue stick this section here. I guess I need a little more glue stick. I don't want to close it off. That's um, that's kind of weird looking now. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I'll put something there. That's what I'll do. I'll put a um, looking for my there it is way over there art glitter. So my gardener's supposed to be here in any. I don't know when it'll get here, but he came yesterday and then his mower uh, died. So, okay, so this is just going to get glued down right down here on the edge, just like we do with any other envelope. And I'm going to cut this. I wonder if I could fit that in my trimmer. Let me try. I'm not very good at, I'll end up going off at an angle or something, and then it'll be really. Get it in here. Watch it all fall apart inside. Oh, A little tough spot there. All right. 
right. And what's inside here? Okay, a bunch of little pieces that I'm gonna have to go in and glue down. But that's all right. Okay. That way, otherwise it'll get stuck, but I'll, I'll fix that. But I think that's gonna be more useful and I could decorate this side, or I can use this. Um, let's see, I was gonna make this a flip. How would this look? No, I don't want the flip. Oh yes, but that's too short. Okay. All right, I will come back to that um, when I figure out what I wanna do. But I think, yeah, a flip would be nice in that. Pocket. I think this I want to put on this one. I just, um, this way you can open this and have writing space and then pull this card out and there's writing space under that. So I'm just going to go ahead and get it in. So anyway, if my gardener does come, I'll just put it on, just stop the video and come back and join the two together since I don't have one of those phones that does a pause. Okay, so now that's kind of ugly. Let's see. Thought I'd use this in here. Hmm. That is, that's a kind of a good writing space there. Um, okay, I'll come back and maybe do something. Maybe make a a pocket or something there. All right, let me see what else. Um, I don't know what to do with this yet. I did this. Oh, and then this one, which was the other side of the pocket, I put a piece of Velcro here, and I put this little mushroom, so you could still write in here, but we have this little soft piece of Velcro. And you could write on this side too. And then close it up, and then you can put journal cards in in here. Um, then I have this, and I put some lace here. <clears throat> that I need journal card for. Okay, so let's see, what do I have left that needs, this is the paper clip. So let's see, was there something I wanted to paper clip on? I don't think so, not yet. Not yet, but I have this, so. Then I have this. <clears throat> and um, I think I need to go like four, I think there's 16 pages, so. One, two, three, let's go four and this way. Oh, that's kind of cool, book page on book page? Or does that look silly? I think that might look better. Can't write on this anyways. Can't write on that either, but I'm trying to make this journal um let's see how it's gonna out some of the bulkiness of this but I don't think it matters really you know paper um, yeah this is where I, I glue it yeah I don't usually make this kind of pocket well maybe I do I don't know 
fold my pages in half, then I glue this, this section here. That way I can make a punch and it's all connected inside. But you have double strength of the pocket. got to find out a better way to ink the edges of the pages. It is so um, time consuming. You know, to take every page and ink it all, both sides. So I'm trying to figure out like, or don't do them at all. Okay, so what happened? So if you have one of these um, little paddles, I mean, it doesn't have to be Cricut brand, I don't think, any little, it's not sharp, but it's skinny, and that way you can go get underneath the glue without ripping. I mean, you're gonna rip it, some of it, but not like rip, rip. Let's try that again. And I think the problem was here. I think I need to take this off out because it was. That's what I need to start going back and do. You know, I always used to mark. Does that look straight? I'm gonna get me a level or something that I can sit on something on top. Let's try it again. This is what takes up my time. I wanted to make another piece of ephemera, but I don't want the video to be an hour and, and a half long. Okay, there and there. Right, that's gotta be straight. All right, this stamp here is from, oh, what is the name of that company? Uh, I can't see it right now either. Um, they're, uh, they make stamps for painting, not for, you know, this kind of thing. So like if you dip it in, you know, in paint and then put it on furniture and stuff or signs or that kind of thing. And they're very expensive. But when I was doing furniture, I would put them on like dresser drawers. I would put the Im images or on a seat of a chair because they're usually, you know, pretty good size. That's why these are so big. Okay. Um, I guess that's it for that one. So let me see if what time I have. Okay, let me see if I can get this, at least the base of it done. I may not be able to decorate it. Okay, so... This you can use an eight and a half by 11. Um, you'll need two sheets though. Um, if you're doing it on a 12 by 12, you only need one sheet because you, you need to cut it 10 inches by six. Now this is a design from um, Rose Lane Vintage Designs uh, YouTube. 
and I can, uh, I'll link her. And she's actually in my link tree. So if you just want to go to link tree and look up Rose Lane, it'll be right there. Um, so also, um, I think Gail Augustinelli did this one, similar to this. She did a bigger one. But ours is going to be, it's going to be 10 by 6 because I want it to fit on those pages. One of those pages. I'm going to make another one for the other journal for the memories in the meadow. Um, if I have a piece of scrapbook paper that I like, otherwise I guess I'll, I could use two. I could make some more copies of that kit and make two pages. All right, so I hope I'm doing this right. So I'm cutting the, that, how can it be so weird? Oh my gosh. Well, I guess it may end up a little crooked. Uh, I found a new one of these at the thrift store uh, by We Are Memory Keepers. And I don't have a blade, but I'm going to get a blade for it and see if it's got a better... I can line it up better than this one. Okay. Oh, it's right here because it has a scoreboard, which I thought was cool. I'd, which I kind of like that because it you, seems like you could decorate it. This one I did with the scrapbook paper before. Like that. So that's kind of what we're doing. Now this scrapbook paper is just coffee dyed on the back. So I think that'll leave uh, some space here for uh, writing but what I have to figure out is um, it doesn't say what part is going to be the writing space in other words I get I get okay so that All right, so I think my first side, I'm going to do it at, at four inches this way, one, two. Okay, I'm back. My um, apple was full, my storage, um, so it just cut me off. You think it could like ring a bell because it rings a bell all the time for other stuff. Okay, so I, had finished this part and so I'm going to do it again um, so you know because it's kind of you know you need to know the net the numbers okay the first thing I need to do is cut it down to 10 inches I'm gonna do this um, oops, 10 inches because I think it'll save me some paper first I did it down the middle six but I'm gonna do 10 and get it on there right. Make sure it's up so it's even. Okay. Oh wait, it gives me this long piece. And then these are gonna be cut in two by six inches. So your 12 inch side is going to be cut to six. Yes. Let me just make sure that's a 12 inch. Yeah. I don't want to make it a mistake and have to do it over again. Okay. There we go. They're still not perfect. Just don't know. I just wonder if I do it a little bit. I just don't get it. It's 
So there's six, so that's like inside the line. And there's six. Okay. I'll end up uh, wasting a whole bunch of time and the video will be really long. Okay, so now we're going to get the scoreboard. Um, to score these. Okay, I'm going to score them on this side. Um, I want to do the reverse of what on both sides. So, in other words, this here is going to be scored at four inches. And then I'm not going to score. I guess I could score all of them. Yeah, let me score them all. I'll just cut it off. So uh, four inches, six inches, and eight inches. Okay, so that leaves us, that's three sections that are two inches and one section that is four inches. Okay, now in this next one, we're gonna do the reverse. Um, we're going to, I don't know that it matters that much, but we'll see so this side is going to be two inches four inches six inches okay so that one is two four six and that will leave you four inches over here this one is going to be four um two no, four, six, four, six, eight, and then that'll leave you two inches over there, right? So this would be 10, I guess. Okay, these two are going to fit together like so. And so I want it to be folded accordion style like so and it's easier to, for me to remember where I'm at if I go ahead and do a little bit of folding. All right, so now over here, I need to go a quarter of an inch. Let's just do this one. From the four inch mark, I need to mark it a quarter of an inch, and that's towards your places there. And then at the bottom of that four inch, let's see, I'll do it this way. Well, it doesn't, some rulers are just weird. So this is two and a quarter, okay? And then I'm just gonna draw a line here so I know where I wanna cut it because this section is gonna get cut away, okay? So this section would be cut. This is one quarter inch, and this is uh, two and a quarter inch, okay? Can you guys see that? So the first page is four, these are score marks, four, six, eight, and then you have a two inch left. Then you're gonna mark it a quarter of an inch over from the four, and then two and a quarter from the bottom. All right, now this one, we're going to mark, um, hold on a second, I'm sure I'm going the right direction. Okay, this one we're going to mark at a quarter of an inch on this side. and down two and a quarter. No, up, oh, sorry. Oh, sorry, sorry. I'm gonna measure up two and a quarter. This is from the bottom, okay? And this is at the top. All right, so now you're scoring at two 
four, six, and that leaves you four inches on that side. All right? And then I'm just gonna draw my line, that way you guys can see. Like that, all right? So I'm gonna sit this like this for just a second so that you can see. Um, it's basically reverse. So four, four, you know, two and two. It's just reverse of what the one you did in uh, prior. Okay. So now I'm gonna cut this. Hopefully you can pause the video if you wanna get those measurements. I also have them written down, but they're not very big. The writing isn't. Okay, so now we're just gonna put that down like that. These save for scrap, I guess. And put that one like that. And I'll erase all this stuff. Okay, so now one sits on the top and one is on the bottom. Now you can glue this together if you want, but let me um, fold this so we can see some kind of variation. Actually, these are really pretty easy to do. It's just a matter of getting it lined up right. Okay, so now there's that. So this side in here, I was going to leave pretty much plain for journaling in here. Now, what I did on my other one is I actually put it this way. And then it opens this way and I put a belly band on that side or you could put a belly band on this side. So how I attached it was with washi because if you, you can't really glue it, you need to make a flip. Now you don't have to use washi actually, you could just do a strip here. Maybe I'll do that, just, let's see. Maybe, no, that's not quite wide enough. Well, I don't wanna use this because um, it's cardstock and then it's just too heavy. So let me find, um, coffee dyed. Oh, it's not big enough either. All right. I was just trying to use maybe something like book page or something like that give it a little bit more, but that's gonna show when you open it. I don't even know if I have washi that, oh, I know this gold one would look good. That's it. All right, I'm probably gonna be running out of time, so I'm gonna try to at least get this done. See, that was off a little bit, so I'm going to just make sure that the top is level, and then I'm gonna go back and trim that. Make sure this is straight there. Make sure that you can fold it. this um, 
um, goldish. Well, it's called brown. If you get this on um, Stationery Pal, it's considered brown. Could have glued it but this does seem very strong this washi so i think if i you know get it burnished down good it'll be fine all right so now we have this little part that comes out and i mean i put a tie around here in the last my last time i made this even off that bottom and then you can open it like this and you can have a um, writing page there I was going to put a maybe I'll put a belly band on this side and then uh, cover some of this with um, like writing page So I don't think I'm going to put the belly band on yet. Um, I think I want to stamp in here or ink in here. Um, I don't think I have any fall. I probably have some leaves somewhere. I have to would have to look them up. Boom. Those are leaves, but they're not. They're more. They look like bamboo and then flowers. So anyway, I think that's what I'm going to see what I can find to stencil. And then I'll stencil uh, in here. And that will fold up there. And I'll put a tie. But if I was thinking, if I put this in this back of this book here, like that, then I don't need to tie it. I thought it fit nice in that pocket there. So, but I was going to put the paisley one. I don't. Yeah, I like the paisley here because it's got just, picks up just a little bit of blue over there, I think. Okay. All right, so I'm going to let you guys go and, um, Hopefully this wasn't too long and you got something out of it. And um, I will see you in the next video. Bye.